What's going on, y'all? Nick here coming to you with another video. So check this one out, y'all. We have this video from the Whatever Podcast, and it's so hilarious because they are literally discussing, you know, does it make a man gay if he's attracted or dates a transgender woman? Check this out, y'all. Okay. I have a question. So, and we, this has been like a thing that's gone viral on this podcast before. Um, and it always seems to spark quite a debate. So would you consider it to be gay for a man to date a trans woman? Yes. For a man to date a trans, no, personally. Would, would he, would you categorize him as straight? Um, probably, yeah. Because, what is it? I'm oh, sorry. This is Here, like too technical. I mean, I'm, I'm like, I just. If you don't want to answer, that's like, fine. Go just, ahead. If you don't I want to answer, that's I'm, fine. Go ahead. I'm with Pixie. I don't think that that makes me gay at all. How does that not make you gay? <laughs> Yo, these girls are tripping. What the hell? Essie. Oh I have no uh, clue. For not to answer? Yeah. You, okay. Uh, okay. Um, question. Do, I mean, does your answer change based on the stage of transition? Like, what if this is before any transition? has occurred at all but the person has a, come to the realization that they are transgender well i would assume that you have some level of like homosexual inclination if you're a man attracted to a person who looks and represents as a man you know mm -hmm. like if you're saying pre-transition i would say like you're if you're attracted to those components of that person pre-transition if you are transgender are you a woman Pre-transition, you're a woman who hasn't transitioned yet, so you're presenting as a male what, until what if you there transition. Hasn't, what, what if there hasn't been any bottom surgery? What do you mean? Like there's still an appendage. So yeah. you're saying they transitioned everything but their bottom? I, they're, maybe they're in the process of transitioning. Let's say they're fine. Everything... But the okay, I feel like I'm kind of confused here, so I'll just yeah. leave it in, the, in these it sentences. It seems really touchy. Two people that have penises, I don't care how you feel on your inside, I don't care if you dress and you wear a dress, you wear a wig, if you come together and you have sex, you're gay. And I think that is homosexual, right? So I know that people... Man, this is so bizarre that this is even a question. And check this out, y'all. Look at some of the comments <laughs> you have on the side. It says, for Marine Pig V8, sure answer, yes. 713 likes. You have also, this one was really good. The Jamal uh, Senior, I'm assuming. It says, you can put lipstick on a pig and it's still a pig. That is absolutely true. I mean, that's just a straight up fact. Why are they really battling with this question right now? And here Candace is being based as hell. And just telling it as it is. And this is the reason why they probably want to cancel her as well. You know what I'm saying? I heard she's been getting some issues um, at the Daily Wire. But let's keep going with this, y'all. Are trying. It's, it's, it is convoluted. So I understand I why like, you're like, uh, they're yeah. trying to it's make it something else. And hurt. it's in your head. And Well, what if you feel like a woman? It's very simple. If you are a man and you are having sex with a man, irrespective of how you feel or whether or not you've mutilated your body or you've chopped something off, it doesn't make you not a man. You are your man. And two men coming together to have sex with their appendages intact, obviously, is homosexual sex. So yeah, I think, um, you know, it's different if they're presenting completely different, because at that point, like, you know, you have men who say that they've been trapped or whatever. And I'm like, that person is straight. They literally slept with someone who was like presenting as a woman, looked like a woman. They couldn't tell. Like, right. I think she's making a good point. Like, it's, it's unfortunate, but if you are a man that got trapped, quote unquote, which I still find it extremely hard because, I mean, I feel like it's almost like spidey senses. Like you dealing with somebody whose voice sounds even remotely off or they got a little bit too much hair or Adam's apple. Like there should be some red flags that pop up that just makes your screen crawl. But in any case, there are people who actually go through crazy incredible and check out what that word actually means they go through incredible transitions and it ends up you know pretty much that it makes that man essentially a, a woman and if you get trapped in such a situation i don't think that a person is necessarily gay right because he is attracted to the visage of a woman how that's a very sad predicament and I've heard a lot of transgenders 
actually have died because of situations like that because they actually are caught up with dudes um, <laughs> that are actually straight and they got trapped. So what this woman is about to say is actually pretty true. I wouldn't consider that gay. Um, but at the end of the day, like, honestly, I don't really care about people's sexual orientation that much. I feel like this is, like, kind of a culture war issue. And for some people, culture war issues are important. But I'd rather talk, like, policy about something. I don't know if that makes me boring here, but... Uh, well, <laughs> I'm not sure I'm totally following, but I guess, so... And why is it so hard for this guy to talk about this topic? I mean, <laughs> yo, this dude, he's beating around the bush so damn hard, man. Spit that shit out. What is a woman? <laughs> I've answered this question before on the podcast. Here, I can start with Azalea. Did I say your name or I'm sorry? <laughs> no, Azalea. you never do, but it's okay. I, okay, <laughs> go ahead. So what is a woman? I mean, I think that gender is a spectrum. I obviously know that you do not agree with me, and a lot of the conservative people here won't agree with me, but I guess it's just how you present and how you feel. I mean, I don't really, again, I don't like to structure things that way and, like, make it so black and white. I think that people should represent themselves and be what they want to be, and it's nobody else's business, to be honest. A female is somebody that has a vagina. That's what it says in the book, right? Okay, Which cool. book? The Bible? The health ed book. Oh, the health ed book. Okay, is a okay. No, but what gender is and sex are two different things. So, okay. Oh, you my gosh. You guys, please chime in on this. Is sex and gender two different things because this is literally a new phenomenon when i was growing up i mean they were literally the same damn thing and now we literally trying to make it different i mean your your your, your sex is determined by your chromosomes am i right i mean i could be totally off you know i could be totally off all right but it should be <laughs> determined by your chromosomes and if you have x y you're a man if you have two x's you're a woman you know what i'm saying so that will determine your gender i mean i, I don't know What's the issue here? The question correctly, so I don't want you to feel like you answered it wrong. What, what is a woman? A woman is I'm like, somebody... This is so complex, I'm yeah. It doesn't need to be. Okay. It doesn't need a woman to be. is somebody who presents or acts as the social construct of love. What? Presents? <laughs> what? This is why this world is upside down. It doesn't matter how you present yourself. I mean, isn't the whole concept of tomboys, they try to present themselves as boys, but they're still women? What does present have to do with anything? It's who you are. And the reason why I don't say biology is because whenever we look at biology, the truth is, before coming to this room, I did not look at anybody's genitalia here. I did not look at any of your chromosomes. I just assumed you guys were women because of how you dress and act. So I think that maps on more to our reality of how we use the word woman. Essie. This is so controversial. Um, I'm very, like... A man and a woman. Man has a penis. Woman has a vagina. Biologically, man and a woman. I agree. I think that it's like whatever biologically and anatom yeah, anatomically what you've got going on. Um, I feel like what brings out my feminine qualities the most is the thought of being a mother in the future. So I guess I associate um, being a woman with being a mother in all aspects of that. Um, oh, okay. That's well, my answer. Uh, your gender is decided before you're born, when you're born, and for the rest of your life. I'm having a little boy. The doctor knows that. I know that because uh, he's got a penis that is growing inside of my stomach right now, which is kind of trippy mm -hmm. to think about. Um, if I get onto this table and I start meowing like a cat, I don't suddenly become a biological cat because I present like a cat and wear a tail and say meow meow. That is probably means that I need to talk to a therapist. Not you, not you. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's not that difficult. It doesn't need to be convoluted. It doesn't need to be controversial. Um, a woman, to answer your question, is an adult female. <laughs> adult human female. It is an adult mm. human female. And that is the answer to something that it's just shocking to me that every person knew, every child, every, and then within just a couple of cultural years, everyone is so confused about, you know, water being a liquid. <laughs> it's very, like, again, I'm fascinated by it, so I love to talk to people that are confused by that, but <laughs> if you were born with a vagina, you are a female, and if you were born with a penis, you are a male, and if you had some rare thing happen, which hardly ever happens, but people always talk about it, where you're both Yo, you guys, look at this girl's face, though. <laughs> look at this girl's face. She looks so damn pissed off. 
<laughs> what is going on in Yvonne right now? She's like, I want to kill Candace. Why is she opposing me? <laughs> Woo-wee. Born with a vagina, you are a female. And if you were born with a penis, you are a male. And if you had some rare thing happen, which hardly ever happens, but people always talk about it, where you're born with both, both parts, you might be intersex, hermaphrodite, hermaphrodite uh, but generally speaking, I think we know that that means that something genetically went wrong. <laughs> we are born either male or female. Pixie, do you object to her definition? Yeah, because I think, um, I understand where you're coming from, but I think when it comes to day-to-day -day use of words, they have to map onto our reality somewhat and the truth is like as I didn't check anyone's like biology or chromosomes before coming here you can say it's an act but the truth is that's it's an act that everybody plays into everybody looks at how a person looks like and says oh they're a woman or male based off of that and you can say oh that person is putting on a disguise that doesn't change their real gender or anything but everybody acts that way so to me it's like no like the word that maps or the definition that maps most onto reality onto our day-to-day -day usage is appearance-based uh candace does have to uh take off here do you have a final response to her yeah i just you if you grow an afro and wear a wig and put you know a lot of black makeup on you're not a black woman you know <laughs> so your appearance doesn't actually mean anything you are a, you're, you're not black um and the same way that i'm not white so how we uh, if we can trick someone, you might be able to trick me. I think Roy Richard Dalazel did a really good job tricking people into believing that she was black for a long time uh, by darkening her skin, getting super tan, and wearing fake wigs. But she was actually a black woman. So how you feel on the inside and how you... Man, look at this girl. Look at this girl, y'all. Like, it's all in her eyes. You see how dark the eyes look? She's totally pissed off. <laughs> I mean, it's true. If you don't, because you look a certain way, that doesn't make it who you are i mean you can't take a white person and all of a sudden just because they put some makeup and a wig they become black i mean and this girl why is she having issues with this one literally look at the girl next to her she's just like why? <laughs> look at her face why the hell are we talking about this why the hell are we talking about this right now this is so easy to understand <laughs> Oh man, this is hilarious. You present, you might be able to trick people, but that makes you a liar, not a woman. So, um, yeah, that's what I would say in closing. Yeah. <laughs> if you want, you could direct your further comments to me what okay. afterwards. But... So, there you have it. I would like to hear your comments um, in the comment section down below. What did you guys think about this video? I mean, ultimately, does it make a man gay if he's attracted to a transgender woman? Why are we having all these discussions about, you know, what is a woman? Just because someone presents themselves something, does it actually mean that's what they are? I mean, I mean, I could put as much powder on my face and try to make myself... I mean, Dave Chappelle, I think, did that one time in, <laughs> in the Dave Chappelle show. He put powder and, like, a, a, a wig, and he was trying to act like a white news reporter. I mean, does that make you white? Does that make me white? I mean, is th this conversation is just hilarious to me, but I would love to hear what you guys think in the comment section down below. And also, let me know if you guys like this new format. I'm trying this new thing where I'm trying to, like, you know, um, transition the screen so that you can get up and close and personal to what the people are saying. Let me know if you guys like that new format. Anyway, with that being said, Nick over and out. The message sent. Jesus is king, y'all.